Hi guys, it's Riki and welcome to another video. If you're new here, my name is Riki and I review a lot of activewear, so if you're interested, um, you know, just keep watching. Uh, today we'll be reviewing uh, Eamon's sportswear. Um, so I did a review video about them uh, a while ago and, you know, um, I talked about how this is a Swedish brand and I'm lucky enough to actually have a store in the city I live. So from time to time, you know, I just go by there and check out their new collections and stuff. And yeah, I just thought it would be time again to review um, what I recently bought from them, you know, to just give you a little bit of an update, show you some of the newer designs. Because yeah, I buy some stuff from them like every now and then, you know, I'm kind of a regular in the store. <laughs> and um, I just don't do a video about it every time I do this. So yeah, you know, it's about time. Let's do it. Um, yeah, Eamon is, like I said, a Swedish brand, but they do ship worldwide. They have... Um, you know, a big online presence, um, so that's that. They unfortunately only have stores in Sweden and they have three stores here, two, two stores, I think, and plus an outlet. <laughs> and also they have a store in New Zealand, I believe, so, but that's about it, you know. Um, so yeah, most of you guys have to rely on the online shop, but they also offer returns. So, you know, if you don't like something, you can send it back and yeah. Um, I do have a few items from um, a New York collection, but I also have some items I bought on their sale website recently or during their sale. So we will just go through all of that and it's a few items. So, you know, lean back, relax and let's dive into it. So um, in the beginning of January, they had a new launch where they launched their most popular items, which are like their ripped seamless designs. Um, in like a new color and dusty violet, their ripped seamless designs, they always have those. They also have luxe seamless. They always have those in so many different colors and a lot of nudes. So if you're into nude colors, you will love this brand. Um, you can definitely check them out. I'm more into colors, but I did like the dusty violet. And they also from time to time have some shimmer items. So, um, in the beginning of January, they launched this beautiful, um, strap shimmer bra or shimmer strap bra in dusty violet so this is also more of a nude tone but you know the shimmer got me and I tried this on in the store and it actually looked good on me sometimes I'm not sure with like these more pastel colors um so yeah this is the shimmer strap bra in dusty violet and it is really like more of a muted like kind of silvery very light purplish color so indeed dusty um, and this bra, so the, the strap bra, this kind of shape at least is one that Eamon has done before in very many different colors and prints. But something was very new here. I mean, yes, the shimmer, like the shimmer color basically, but also you don't see any seam down here. So usually there used to be a seam right underneath your boobs here and then you just had like a bit of a long line sports bra situation, but here this is seamless now so there's no seam and also underneath here just kind of like just an edge basically so this is how this ends but you can also hear that there something is different with the fabric so this is more of a seamless situation down here which was interesting and up here the fabric feels a little more soft but yeah then down here you have more of a like i don't know how to describe this like a so it's not solid but like it's kind of like more of a synthetic like feel i guess um, I, I assume it's to give you still like that kind of like nice compression and hold um, that usually you would get from like having an actual seam there. Um, but yeah, that was different. Um, I've read some people didn't like it too much because it was a bit tighter than what they're used to and it also rolls a little bit. I didn't have that problem with the bra specifically. So yeah, I guess it also depends on your body type. And then also we have just like a super nice simple neckline in the front here and in the back and we have adjustable straps here too. They're just spaghetti straps but I still find I get like an okay hold with um, with these straps and with this bra. And like I said the shimmer was kind of what I liked about these a lot. I don't know if you can see it super well but like yeah in the sunshine it's really nice. Um, and we have a logo here in the back as well, like just a silver logo, what Eamon does all the time, super elegant, makes it look a little bit more luxurious. And uh, removable cup pads as well, just so you know. And this time we don't have any seam in between here it seems, but 
they're still removable. So you have this little hole here where you can, you know, take them out of. Um, but yeah, let's see this one on. All right, here we have the strap bra. It is really nice and shimmery. Adjustable straps. Um, I just haven't adjusted them too much yet. So, but yeah, you can adjust them um, in the back as per usual with uh, your sports bra. And we also have like a super classic cut here. And as I said with the strap bra, like we don't have the seam here that usually um, this uh, type of bra from Eamon has. So it's really like quite seamless. And since it's so shimmery, you can basically see everything underneath. So you can probably see the cup hats a tiny bit depending on, you know, how I move in the light. Uh, but that's just because it's such a shimmery fabric. So basically like it's not, you know, it's not forgiving at all in that aspect. Um, but I think like it's fine. It's not super obvious. Like I said, unless you like kind of twist a little bit. Um, yeah, the bag really still gives like great support. Like cause it's like really nice and tight, keeping me tucked in. Um, I do get like a solid medium support from this. So I don't really have too much jiggling here. Um, of course you only have thinner straps. So if they had like a bit, a bit thicker straps, I think it would be even better support wise. And then the back is also just nice and simple. We have the logo in the back here and you know just a very simple like um lines here so nothing too special but it's like really just such a great basic bra as well and since it's like shimmery it gets elevated you know so it doesn't need to be like a super like spectacular design basically because it's already the shimmeriness is kind of speaking for itself right and it's not like super much in your face glitter but it's like really just like super shiny and yeah, um, I like it. The color is also like really more of a dusty, like pastel-y color and also not, not too much, but it's also not too nude. It's like something in between. And yeah, like I said, the shimmer kind of, you know, adds that little bit of extra fun to it. So yeah, I like this one. All right, to go with the Dusty Violet Shimmer Strap Brow, we have the Dusty Violet Tights. So these are just a very, simple shape. They're long, of course. I do not like capris. <laughs> we have a front seam. Um, I don't think I've seen any Eamon legging without a front seam, so this is just what they do. I've never had a problem with any of their front seams. Um, but yeah, if you don't like front seams, um, maybe this is not for you, but if you don't mind it or if you like them, you know, they have a lot of those. Uh, but yeah, like I've never had a problem with it. So I've had more problems with non front seam leggings than with their front seam leggings. So if that makes sense. We do have our Eamon logo here as well. And again, same situation as with the bra. We have like this more rigid fabric up top here that kind of seems a little bit more seamless. So also no top seam, but just like this kind of seamless edge here, if that makes sense. And this so I've had shimmer tights from them before, or like similar tights to compare, like like these basically. And I've never had this, that the fabric was very different from the normal body of the leggings compared to, to the waistband. But this one is, and this made it also a little bit more tight around the waist here. So pull, putting these on the first time was kind of like a bit of a struggle because I had to like get them past my bum. But when I had them on, I was fine. But that's also because I have a small waist. So if you have like a bit of a bigger waist um, than mine, maybe, or like compared to the size you usually get basically, maybe size up for these. So I've also heard from the girl in the store that a lot of people liked to size up and specifically these. Uh, size up from the normal size. Um, I'm normally always a small and Amen because if you look at the size chart, it's also a little bit different than some other brands size chart. Um, and I fit in their smalls perfectly. This one I found a little bit tighter around my waist, but for me it was still fine. But I believe, you know, if you don't like, because my waist is quite small compared to like my hips, for example. So if you don't have that big of a difference, if your waist is a little bit bigger, maybe you would want to size up. Or if you just don't like the tightness around the waist, or if you don't want to wiggle yourself into your leggings, um, I'm pretty sure they would still fit me good in a medium. But for me, the small was fine. Just a heads up. And then in the back, we also like, it looks simple, but then we have like this cute, like glute seam detailing to give you like a little bit more of a, of an accentuation here. So that's, that's quite nice. And it's also like very like, you're not super in your face, just a tiny bit. And yeah, so these are shimmery, but like, they are not like this, 
I don't know, they don't feel rough or anything. They still feel nice and soft. Um, and I really like that. And they feel very stretchy still. Because sometimes I have this where shimmer ties very, you know, either the stretchiness wasn't there or the fabric just felt a little bit weird. But this feels good. Like I said, it's just the waistband is a bit of a different fabric. Um, and yeah, it's kind of like you have to test out if this is for you or not. I also experienced that, um, that this was a little bit more prone to rolling. Again, I don't really mind too much, but of course this is up to you. Um, but, you know, let's see them on. Alright, the shimmer tights are so shimmery. Like, look at it. It's like, I can move and it shimmers and, ooh. And just like the sports bra, of course, like, like you can see the cup hats here, depending on where you, how you move. Um, you would see underwear lines underneath here as well. So actually this one, uh, this pair of leggings came with like a free pair of seamless underwear, like a seamless thong. Um, they've done that before with like some of their lighter colors where they knew there wouldn't be 100% spot, spot proof. So they give you like a new thong with it. And I think here they did that because of the, you know, underwear lines that you, that you could see otherwise. But yeah, you can see I'm wearing actually one, uh, an Eamon nudeless thong, nudeless, <laughs> seamless thong underneath and it's like really hard to spot. So. It works um of course I mean if you don't wear underwear lines or if you don't mind them like you can just wear whatever underneath um yeah we have this like super tight waistband here so for me it's not a problem I feel super tucked in but if you don't like that you could size up um and then we have a front seam as well I don't have too much of a problem with it maybe a teeny tiny bit of camel toe but like it's nothing major I also don't really feel it we have the logo here as well and then, you know, in the back, we just have like the subtle glue detailing here. The seams sit nice and high so they don't cut off your glutes at all, which is also really nice. And yeah, I mean, this pair of leggings doesn't really need that much because it's shimmery. And you don't want to distract from that, do you? And uh, 7 8 length on me. So yeah. And they are really, really stretchy in the main part of the legging. It's really just the waistband that is a bit tighter fitting. Um, and I've never had this with them before, so I think they're just trying something new with a seamless situation up here. So yeah, if you don't like it, just size up, um, you know. But yeah, uh, this material is also more stretchy than some other shimmery leggings I had, so that's a plus. And I've also worn these like out for a whole day, like last weekend, and I didn't really see any sweat marks or anything. But I'm assuming like if you do like something high intensity, you might still see some sweat. So. Yeah, but I feel like you can do that in these because they're kind of like super lightweight, so yeah. Alright, and while I was there, I also did check out, you know, a few other items that had launched previously. So this was actually back from back in um, last year. Um, I got this black dog tooth cropped long sleeve. Um, so I have... Yeah, I'm just getting closer so you can see the print. So it's also a bit shimmery. I do have these leggings as well, the black dog tooth um, leggings, and they are phenomenal. They do have a front seam, but I love to wear them for just like normal lifestyle. Um, they're just really great for that. Um, yeah. And I really love the print too because it's like super like nice. It looks kind of elegant and like different. So yeah, I had tried on the crop long sleeve before and I was like, do I want to do it or not? And I finally caved and got it. So this is also, even though this is like, like you have the shimmery fabric, it's still like super nice and soft and stretchy. Um, I got this one in a small too. It has a little mock neck situation here. Very cute. And yeah, long sleeves and it's cropped. And we again have the Eamon logo here in the back in silver. Um... In the video, I will pair them with the black leggings so you can see the whole look. But yeah, this is just a really cute long sleeve. I think you could also absolutely wear this for lifestyle with like just a pair of high-waisted jeans. Um, you know, make it a, a cute, sophisticated look. But let's see this on. All right, here we have the black long sleeve and the dark tooth print for like a cool, sophisticated look. So yeah, I could tend to totally picture this uh, with a pair of high-waisted jeans as well for like a night out or something. Um, and you could still look like, you know, very cool cat woman-like. Um, but yeah, like it's a really nice stretchy fit. It's also very, very long. So you can see me pair this with a high-waisted 
leggings and like you can barely see any skin and it also doesn't move too much when I move so if I were to work out you know I was still not exposed too much and yeah you can see the cute print when I come a little bit closer but it's not like in your face it's just like really sophisticated um yeah the sleeves are also nice and long they're very stretchy but like I would say like if you're a bit concerned about like you know your arms being too big you could always just size up and it would just be a little more loose fitting but I think that would be fine and we also have this little mock neck situation so yeah the first time I put this on it was really hard to get this over my head but it's not tight fitting around the neck or anything it was just like hard to <laughs> squeeze my head through it and um, I didn't have this when I tried it on in the store because in the store they always have like show pieces so those are the pieces that everyone tries on and then it stretches out a little bit um, but they also always say like if you buy a pair of leggings or something be prepared for it to be a little bit tighter <laughs> when you take it home with you because they give you like a brand new piece and put the show piece back on the hanger and then of course most of the people have put it on it kind of molds to your body as well um, and this way like you get a brand new pair that you can you know break in and have your body you know kind of you know, or have the leggings fit your body after like a few wears so I'm pretty sure this is also gonna loosen up after a few wears but yeah it's really really cute it's also still very lightweight. I'm getting a little bit warm though. But I think you could definitely still work out and sweat in it. Um, and then we just have the, the logo here. And yeah, it's super cute. Um, I'm currently wearing my Dusty Violet Shimmer Strap bra underneath. And even though that bra is pretty long lined, you can still see like the crop top is hiding it. Um, and it's not like poking out or anything. Although I think this color combo also works pretty good. So yeah, cute. Alright, I decided to also show you the black dog tooth tights that I was talking about. Um, I just grabbed them from my bag. <laughs> so, this is them. I got these in a size small like I get all my Eamon leggings. It's the same print as you could see on the long sleeve. And yeah, it's just like kind of like elegant, but like also like, you know, not in your face too much. It's like really great for wearing this for lifestyle. And they're also like super soft and comfy. We have the metal logo here in the front as well. A front seam but like I said I don't really have any problems with this we don't have a top seam here so they're like you know nice and soft hugging your body and then in the back here we have a little bit of a dip as well I hope you can see it so really just a tiny bit but like it's it's there and yeah these are also full length Amy lengths are actually longer on me than most other brands leggings so I'm not exactly sure what their inseam is, but maybe it's a little bit longer than 26 inch, what a lot of other brands usually do. So um, yeah, but I like lo I like I love to wear these um, a lot for everything. Like you could find me in these for now, like traveling and stuff like that. Definitely wore them recently when I had like my long um, train rides, because they're just like super comfortable and you still look like you know put together and everything. So let's see these on. All right, these tights are like really. Some of my all-time all favorites. Um, again, you have the black dog tooth print here. You have a nice logo, a front seam, but I don't really notice it at all with the, with these ones. The material is like super soft and stretchy, but yet it's kind of like it's not a brushed material. Still, like it's hard to describe, but it's like really comfy. And this pair of leggings is really one that I wear a lot for just lifestyle and traveling and everything. So definitely love these. I've worn these so many times already. And you can see like the waist isn't super tight fitting us to have a little bit of space here. But I don't mind because they're not sliding down or anything. They're staying put. Um, they're kind of in between like a 7 eighth and a full length on me depending on you know how much I walk. It's not like the leggings themselves are sliding down but like there's a lot of fabric on the legs that you know can start gathering a little bit. Like for me it's not a problem because I'm not too small. But just so you know and then in the back we just have like the teeniest or tiniest bit of um, glue detailing I'm just gonna come closer so you can see it a little bit better like really just teeny tiny bit and the seams sit here so across your uh, uh, on top of your glute still and not like it's it's not too low it's not cutting them off but yeah you don't need too much detailing with these because you know they're just like super nice and like kind of yes yeah, like sophisticated like the top because you can't see the print too well from like far away, but like it's there and it's making them also feel like very luxurious. And yeah, they're so stretchy and comfy and like I could wear them for like a full day without any problems. So yeah, these are some of my uh, top favorites basically, not just from Eamon, but um, from all leggings basically.
All right, but let's continue with some dog tooth prints because they, um, a while ago, they did a lot of these. So I have the off-white dog tooth print tights. And I also actually do have these in macchiato. So they came in this off-white, so it's not exactly pure white, but off-white, and macchiato and then macchiato and black uh, combination. And they are super soft and stretchy, just like the black dog tooth tights, basically. So they are kind of the exact same shape. You have no front seam here. We have the metal logo, a bit harder <laughs> to see it now with all the wild print going on. A front seam and like just the tiniest bit of like a glued seam detail. Um, and these are of course printed on this off-white color because you usually print this on the lightest color of your print. So yes, it will stretch out a little bit when you move and when you squat. Um, which is why originally I only got the macchiato ones because it was macchiato and like black and, or like a darker brown and then it was printed on that macchiato brown color. So when it stretched out it didn't look as sheer basically. Um, but I also always like these. Um, I think it's just like a super like basic print. You can still kind of pair this nicely and like do some like lifestyle styling with these I think. Um, and you wouldn't look too wild, but also like it's still different, you know, and um, Yeah, that's why I also now decided to get these uh, in the sale So this is one the first of the sale items that I got before and like I said just like the black ones These are like super soft and comfy. It's not a brushed fabric. It's more of a like sleek fabric But it's still like soft and comfy basically and these are always so stretchy um and yeah, even with my big butt, I would never get a medium in these because then the waist would just be gaping too much, if that makes sense. So I'm really happy with the small. Uh, it fits super nicely. I feel tucked in. Um, but let's try these on. All right, these leggings are basically the exact same as the black dog tooth ones, except for they are in off-white. But they still feel like nice and soft and super stretchy, like so stretchy indeed. Um, we do have a front seam again. Again, for me, it's not super much of a problem. We have the logo here as well. This time it's harder to see because of the whole pattern going on. Nice and high-waisted, no top seam. And we have like a little bit of a glued detailing, but it's really not too much. And again, the seams sit nicely on top of the glutes and not like, they're not cutting them off or anything. So yeah, and also 7 8 length for these on me. Probably also could be full length depending on, you know, how I put them on basically. Um, and yeah, I, I really like these specific tights, the ones they always do with the prints and stuff, because they are so stretchy, but still like sweat wicking, kind of for performance, but you could also wear them for like lifestyle, so they're really versatile. Especially for like this print, I mean it's still a bit wild, but you could pair this with like some sneakers and like some more nude colored items and you have like an everyday look as well. So yeah, it's just a, a nice basic print kind of. and. For some reason, like the waistband is double lined but with brown, so the second color here. Um, and you can see it a tiny bit on top here, but it's not like super annoying or anything. Um, yeah. And as well, like the, the waist, I still have a little bit of space, but like they're not gonna slide down or anything. It's just like a little bit of, you know, space there. Um, but yeah, that's fine for me. And yeah, they're still staying put. So I don't have a problem with that. And of course this is printed on white so you will see that I'm stretching them out like a little bit more in some areas than in others. And you will also see, see that with the squat. But you know, it is what it is. If you don't like that, the, you could get the macchiato dog tooth print because then it's basically brown and black and it's printed on the brown. And then the stretching out is really not that obvious. Or with the black ones, you won't see it at all because it's black, right? So yeah. All right, to go with the off-white dog tooth leggings, we have the off-white dog tooth strap bra. So basically like the dusty violet shimmer strap bra. It is the exact same shape, but now you can see what I mean with like we had a seam. You have a seam down here and then it's just your normal fabric to give you more of a long line here. So no elastic down here, just the soft fabric against your skin. And this is of course a lot more stretchy than um, whatever was underneath here for the dusty shimmer. A dusty violet shimmer bra um so that's a difference so if you don't like the whole fabric situation 
for that one, this one is more of a normal just fabric basically. And again, we just have like a super basic cut here. We have the adjustable straps, so super easy to really make it fit for you. And yeah, more of a long line one, but this one would also really work great underneath just clothing for like as an everyday everyday bra. Um, we have removable cup pads. And yeah, the print is just really, really nice. You compare this with a lot of stuff, I think. Um, especially if you like more into nude tones or like the brown tones, you could just, you know, take this and then get like a pair of leggings with like the darker brown or like maybe like an off-white and then just pair this together would work super great too. Um, but yeah, let's just see it on. All right, another strap bar, but this time it's more, like I said, we have a seam here, so it's not like super seamless, like with the dusty violet trimmer one, but like the shape is still the exact same, so you have the super simple cut here, the spaghetti straps that you can adjust, and yeah, here it's just like a piece of fabric to make it a little bit more long line. Again, support is still the same for me, this is like a solid medium. And then the back, again, just very simple, you have your logo here, and yeah, the, adjust, the adjustable straps there. So it's very cute. And yeah, they make these in like so many different prints and fabrics and everything. But like it's such a great everyday like basic bra. And yeah, I really, really like these. This material is also really nice and soft, but still kind of feels like sweat wicking. So, you know, it's, I really like it. And we have the removable cup pads and everything. You have good coverage. And yeah. All right, next up, uh, I have the vanilla draped one shoulder bra. Um, I always love a one shoulder moment, but I don't wear it to the gym very much. I don't know why. I don't really need the support from two straps, so that's not it. Um, I think it's just hard if you want to wear it like with the top, like it doesn't really work that well. So this would be like a piece you could wear, you know, by itself. But I will also say I think this could be great as just like, you know, a top in summer because it's kind of a bit more of a long line sports bra. So if you paired this with like a skirt, like a high waist skirt or like some jeans or something, this could work really nicely. And yeah, this is more of a, it is not white. I know it's hard to see, but it's more of like a, this is why it's called vanilla, right? Like it's kind of milky yellowish white. So it could also be off-white. I think it works also well with the off-white from from the dock tooth, um, the off-white dock tooth uh, situation. So I think that goes also quite well together. So if you're wondering, you could pair that, absolutely. The fabric is more soft. I, like, I feel like it's even slightly brushed. Um, I don't know if you can see it, but it's like actually quite, quite nice. And on the inside, it is really soft. So on the inside, we don't really have the, the this performance fabric, but it's more of like a, a fleecy cotton feel. Super soft, super nice, and then it's slightly draped here, so you have some extra seams, some extra fabric, um, so you could drape that across here, you could adjust it a little bit, and then a nice thick strap, and then the back also is just very simple. We have the logo that you basically can find anywhere or everywhere <laughs> on their items to give it that little bit of an extra luxurious feel, and yes, so this is that one shoulder moment. Let's just see it on. All right, we have a one shoulder moment here. And this color also definitely goes quite well with the off-white macchiato, oh, sorry, off-white dark tooth uh, print. Cause like I said, this is more of an off-white. This is also kind of more of like an off-white and then, you know, you can really pair it and mix and match a lot. And I also feel like you could like pair this with any like nude color that they have and it would still look good. Um, this bra is like really super soft. Like I also get great support actually. So I don't mind actually not having that second strap because this strap is quite thick. It's not cutting in at all. Um, and yeah, giving me good support. Surprisingly, sometimes <laughs> I had like with other like one shoulder sports bras, I'm really afraid of this like dropping. But this is actually like, I'm really feeling secure with this. And yeah, we have this draping situation here. So you can really adjust that as well, where the fabric kind of gathers and you know, can make it kind of your own here. Um, we have a nice elastic actually on the front. It has like a little seam down here So that's like against your skin here, but it doesn't cut in or anything in the back We don't have it in the back. We really just have like this elastic Small logo here and then the back looks basically like the front But there's nothing like no draping or anything no extra fabric like we have on the front here We also have removable cup pads, which I feel like 
help a little bit as well to keep the shape on this side, you know, since you don't have the strap to hold things up. And yeah, I think this one's a really good mix and match piece. Um, you could also definitely wear this for lifestyle, so not a problem at all. And yeah, I really like that this one has a nice thick strap to support you. If you only have one, you, you gotta have like a good one, you know? All right, we got some color too. This is the peach crop sweatshirt. Unfortunately, they only had this left in an extra small or like something way too big. So I got this in an extra small. I think it might be a little bit short because it's already quite a, quite a short cut. So it's a very like cropped sweatshirt. Um, not for when you're cold, absolutely not. You know, maybe if you just get cold on your arms, but I think it's more of like a cute look kind of. Um, we have the Amen logo stitched in here. So no metal with this one. Um, a nice crew neck. It's actually a bit ripped up here. And then just long sleeves with some ripped fabric down here as well. Some um, cuffs there. And yeah, it's basically a very simple cut, but it looks kind of cool. I also have a similar situation in off-white and black. And it always looks very cute with like some patterned leggings. And you could just throw it over and, you know, just look cool. Um, at least I really felt kind of cool when I was wearing that. Um, but yeah, this is in a peach color. This one they launched a while ago. I actually have some sweat sh shorts um, for this because I always like to wear shorts sometimes. I always, sometimes, exactly. <laughs> sometimes when I chill at home, I like to wear shorts, not like long leggings or anything. Um, and I still want to be cozy. So yeah, they're sad. But let's just see it on. All right, this peachy crop sweatshirt is really, really short. I mean, I know this from the other like cropped sweatshirts that I have. Uh, but of course, <laughs> this being an extra small does not help with the length. And it's also not as flowy as I would like it to be. Which of course also has to do with the fact that I sized down on this. Um, I mean, it still fits. Like, it's still stretchy enough and everything. And it has a little bit of flowiness to it, but not as much as I'm used to. Uh, in a minute, I will show you um, a sweatshirt like this uh, in a small, so you can see what I mean. Um, but yeah, we have like this, just a really normal sweatshirt material. It's still quite thin, so you're not going to sweat too much in this. Um, and just like a little throw over basically if you get like too cold in the gym or for like a warm up or something. Um, the sleeves are nice and long. We have the stitched in logo here in white. And yeah, you can definitely see if I wear a long line sports bra like this. You can see it and if I lift my arms you can see any sports bra, basically. Um, the back seems to be a teeny tiny bit longer, but not too much. And yeah, you can see basically you have to coordinate the sports bra color you wear to the top of course now i didn't do that it doesn't match 100 percent, but that's fine um yeah i mean i just like their like crop sweatshirts because they look kind of cool um but yeah i'm not sure if i'm gonna keep this one because of the sizing they didn't have it in the small anymore so that was the only issue but i really like this color it reminds me of like spring summer so i was like yes please <laughs> and um it's a nice pastel -y pink peach color so yeah but let me just show you the small and off-white I think that goes super well with this uh, set and this one this one here is a slightly different material it's more like soft brushed um, than the other one that was more of a sweatshirt feel and now you can see like what I mean with the flowiness right like it looks a bit cooler a bit nicer and we still have the stitched in logo here, but it's tone and tone now. So it says Amen and White there as well. But yeah, everything is just a little bit more flowy. We still have the cuffs here. It's still like super short. You know, I can lift my arms and you can see everything. But the flowiness makes it a little bit more cool. And I feel like this could be like also a great look for just, you know, going outside and everything. I just, you know, I feel so cool when I wear these. I don't know if you get the same feeling for about some clothes, but like this is really like... I'm like, ooh, look at me, I'm cool. <laughs> um, yes, it's a bit short, uh, longer in the back here as well. So, you know, the back's not going to expose as much as the front. But still, it's quite short. If you don't like these short ones, they also have long ones, like full-length ones. They also have one of those. And they're really, like, super cozy and comfy. So they're not cheap, but they're kind of worth it because of the material is really good. So, yeah. But uh, I really like this look. It's, uh, you know, with the, with the shirt and stuff, it looks really cool. Let me know if you think the same down in the comments below. All right, next up we have the Boost Cropped Sweatshirts. This is just a little black number, nothing too special. But I've had some of their, um, like, 
sweatshirts before and I know that they're very cozy and comfy and this one is not super cropped not like the last one you know they're, so they're both called cropped but uh, it's a whole different situation so this one is more kind of full length but not entirely so it's still cropped um, it basically has a little quarter zip going on here as you can see we have the Amen logo here as well here we have like a, a super soft like neck mock neck situation and yeah the zipper here so you can wear it a little more open I got this in a medium because that's what they had available and on the inside we have like a super nice fleece lining I know it's black so it's hard to see but trust me it is really really nice and soft and the outside is more of like a sleek I don't want to say neoprene but like kind of but way softer and way thinner still feel and um, yeah no pockets or anything but it feels really nice and cozy and comfy and you could just throw this over after your training or something and go home this is kind of what I'm thinking with this one um, but yeah nothing much else to say let's just try it on all right here we have the nice cozy uh, sweater it's not a hoodie because it doesn't have a hood but you can see with the quarters are like a nice like neck situation so you can actually even snuggle in if it's cold a logo here and then of course you can unzip it if it's not that cold all right like this and this one is a really good like longer cropped length um you can see I've, like i've paired this now with a high-waisted pair of leggings and you can't see anything of course when i start lifting my arms you know you might see a little bit of something but it's uh not like a lot and it's really nice and warm it has the fleece on the inside let's see if i can show you but like it's really really cozy and also the outside is like a nice and soft material we have the cuffs here um, and yeah it's just also a little bit stretchy and um, it's a little bit of a wider fit but also I got this in the medium now and I usually get would get it in small so yeah it's a little bit more oversized than it you know should be or would be but like I don't mind it's still nice and yeah it's nice and warm I'm actually getting quite warm now so um, yeah and the back is also very simple so there's not much to see but it's also just really a nice like thing to throw over uh, when it's a little bit colder outside or like you could even layer this because there's a lot of space so if you were to wear something underneath this still like it would absolutely fit and yeah it's just a great basic because it's so nice and warm and soft and comfy so yeah all right and last but not least we have the glow reversible jacket so one side is this like more coffee colored well maybe not coffee colored but like brownish colored reflective material and this jacket is like it feels nice and soft and kind of sleek so it's definitely gonna be good for like wind and rain but it has no hood which is like the one thing where i'm like ha huh, that's a bit of a bummer and um, we do have the Amen logo up here again it really feels nice and soft and um, i got this one in the medium because you can also cinch it in at the waist uh, i know you can hardly see it now but like you can definitely see that there's like somewhere where the cinching happens so ah I try, i'm trying to point it that's really hard there basically you can see it's happening there um we have a zipper here and the zipper is like super fun if you look closer at it you can see that basically the zipper can change the side it's on which makes sense because this jacket is reversible and we do have some pockets here as well and what i like the pockets do have zippers so for me that's always quite nice because then at least I can I know I can close the zipper and my stuff is gonna be safe because I'm always like super anxious if I don't have zippers on my pockets that I'm gonna lose some stuff and the pockets are still kind of hidden so you wouldn't necessarily see that you have them I think so that's also quite nice and then yeah we just have like some seeming detailing here at the back but like nothing super special but like I said, the fun part about this jacket is that it is reversible. Of course, this side is going to be better for being seen when it's dark. But if you're going for more of a uh, black look, you can. So let me finish this. Also, this side is a little bit more soft, I think. Um, and this side feels, yeah, it feels a little bit different. More of a windbreaker material than this side. But I mean, in the end, it's the same jacket, right? So let me just zip this up so I can show you what it looks like. This is where the zipper comes in handy that it can, you know, change sides. So yeah, here we have the black situation. 
And now you also can see where the cinching happens because on this side you can see the elastic things here. We still have pockets, so zipper pockets again. So basically you also have four zipper pockets down by your waist. And we also do have a pocket here at the chest. And of course, if you reverse it and wear it on the other side, you can still use all those pockets. So that means you just have like inside pockets. And I'm, I'm gonna be honest, I love me a pocket up here on the chest because that's where I can store my most valuable items. And I like it when it's on the inside, you know. So that's really nice. We still have the Amon logo up here. So you also have that and otherwise the same seeming details that you could see on the other side too. Um, yeah. Like I said, this feels a little bit different, this side, a bit more windbreakery. The inside was a little more soft and like, this feels, the inside feels a little bit better for when it's raining. Whereas this, you know, a little less, but I still, I'm still sure they're both good for rain. You have your little mock neck situation here, um, but yeah, unfortunately no hoodie. Or no hoodie, no hood. <laughs> but still, I thought it was super cool and this jacket was on really good sale. So I got this for like 50% off. Um, not sure if it's still on that good sale, but like that's why I basically bought it because I've been seeing it before. I was like, huh, that's a cool look. Um, but yeah, it was just not cheap. But it's also like, it seems like great quality and the fact that you can reverse it and it's so easy to do that, it's pretty nice. But yeah, let's just see it on. All right, let's talk about this jacket. So now I'm wearing the black side to the outside. Let's start with that and then we can uh, zip it up with that fancy zipper here. So, as you can see, it's like nice and like waist accentuating, because I cinched it in with these two. Um, you, of course, don't necessarily need to do that. You could also have a little bit wider fitting, um, but I actually quite enjoy having this option, because with um, you know me having wider hips, I usually tend to get jackets a size bigger than I need to for my upper body. And this way, at least I can still show off my waist because I have a waist, you know, so uh, there's that. We also have nice zipper pockets here. And then, of course, also one zipper pocket up here next to your chest. I don't think I can fit my phone in there anymore. But, you know, still, you could put your keys in there or your wallet or something. And you can zip it up nice and high as well so your neck is covered. We have an Amen logo here. And it's a good length, actually, so kind of covers a bit of your butt but not everything and yeah so this side is really nice and soft and let's you know turn it around let's reverse it <laughs> all right so like I said this side now has a bit more of a um is a bit better if it's dark and you know it can it's gonna keep you a bit safer uh, in that way let's zip it up again Again, you can zip it up super high, of course, same thing as on the other side. And actually, like having the black against my naked skin now feels a little bit nicer, because this material kind of started sticking to me in my sweaty areas, <laughs> if that makes sense. So, of course, that wouldn't matter if you wore some, like, something else underneath than just the sports bra, but maybe that's something to keep in mind. Um, and again, here we also still have like two zipper pockets, but of course, you could also still use the pockets on the other side of the jacket. So, you know, you could use this as an inside pocket and the other two as well, of course. So you have five pockets, basically. This is what it looks like when you wear it open. And of course, you can still use the cinching things to cinch it in a little bit more. Um, I feel like the black looked a bit more like waist accentuating, but maybe that's just also the color. Since black is also more of a slimming color, I don't know. Um, but I also feel like this jacket would be great for like running when it's a little bit colder, especially because, you know, this gives you visibility too. You have the zipper pockets so you could put in your keys and everything you need and keep them safe. And yeah, I mean, I don't go running very often, but I do go for walks, <laughs> so I could use it for that. And yeah, the only thing is it doesn't have a hood. Um, but oh well, you know, it's reversible, so you have two options all the time. And yeah. This one's really a bit more, feels a bit more water resistant. This one a bit more just windbreaker-ish. Um, but still, of course, like both sides would be waterproof since you have, you know, the materials on the same jacket. And um, yeah, I'm getting warm. <laughs>
All right, it's conclusion time. So um, yeah, I mean, I do like my Eowyn. Uh, I do appreciate that I also have a store so I don't always need to order online. I sometimes do it, especially when it's sale items because they don't necessarily have those in the store um, or the, the whatever is available is gonna be different. So sometimes the store also has items on sale that are not on sale on the website and stuff because they're like just making space in their shelves for the new collections. Whereas the website of course has a bigger storage. I mean, you know, that's just how it goes. Um, so yeah, I appreciate the fact that I can, you know, get the best of both. Um, so yeah, I, I mostly go to the store and buy my stuff, but I also sometimes order online. And I told you that there is an outlet, right? So the outlet is also actually where I live or close by. So that's another sweet, sweet thing for me personally. <laughs> but of course, you guys won't have necessarily have that option um, unless you live where I live. So that's nice. <laughs> For me, not for you. But still, like I said, shipping is super good, super fast. Um, returns are easy as well, at least from my experience. And yeah, they have a ton of great items. They always have their basic items in stock, which I really like because there's some websites, like some brands that don't do that. But you will always find your basic items in stock in a ton of different colors. And like I said, if you're if you love your new colors, Eamon is your place to go. Um, if you don't like anything wild, but also sometimes they do have wild things. So I really appreciate that there is a lot of stuff to choose from. Um, if you're like into snake print, for example, for the Dusty Violet, they also recently launched Dusty Violet snake print, or I think they call it the Dusty Violet Viper print. Um, and they also used to have that Viper print in so many different colors. So yeah, I just really appreciate there's something for everyone out there. And um, they also have uh, items for if, like, if you play tennis and paddles, so they had some... Um, some active skirts or some skorts, some uh, more like tennis dresses or golf dresses, these kind of things. So they're like really like, they have a lot of different items, a lot of different, you know, areas they venture in. And yeah, I just really like that it's something for everyone. Cause I'm not in really too much into the new colors, but like I do like them sometimes, you know, and they also have, they, they get me with the shimmer, for example, or, with like how soft their leggings are and what kind of prints they bring them in. So, you know, um, so I really like Eamon because of that. Uh, I also think it's more of a, it doesn't feel like a small brand because they have like such a big website and stuff and they have the stores and everything, but it still feels like more of a, you know, like small brand also the, like the shopping experience in store um, itself and uh, one of the founders of Eamon actually once met her because she was checking out the store when they had like a launch day or something so like they seem really nice and like you know down to earth caring about like their employees and stuff and yeah about their customers and that's really nice so yeah if you haven't yet check out Eamon if you want any recommendations or help with sizing you can let me know otherwise um, you know Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, give me your thumbs up. And if you haven't yet, subscribe to my channel so you can get notified about new videos coming up. I usually upload on Thursdays, but also sometimes on Mondays. So, you know, that's how we roll. Um, and yeah, if you have any feedback, any suggestions, leave them down in the comment box below. You can also follow me on Instagram if you want to see some more of my content. And um, yeah, thanks so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.